All right, one round of rain and storms already through. Cloudy as we're heading into the afternoon hours. Still a couple more rounds to go, including one of those very strong storms expected. That's mainly this afternoon. 74 now, cloudy conditions. We are seeing our dew point. Look at the dew point all the way to 72 now. The rain and storms we had this morning, it was actually a warm front that rolled through. Now we have the wind solidly out of the south at 10 miles an hour. Wind gusts could actually approach 20 miles an hour this afternoon. And notice these temperatures, 75 now in the Pittsburgh area, Latrobe at 77 and Butler at 73. But let's just take a little stroll to the west. You can see New Philadelphia 78. It's already 80 in the Akron area and Columbus at 79. So we know that temperatures are going to likely warm another 5 to 10 degrees over the next hour to two hours as that warm air continues to filter in. That's important because that's going to destabilize us and that's why we have that chance for severe weather, including what they consider a slight risk of severe weather, strong wind at this point is the biggest concern that we have as we're heading into the afternoon. This is the last six hours, so you can see the storms and the warm front that lifted through just a little bit ago. We're now starting to see some other storms developing just behind that warm front, and we're going to continue to see that over the course of the afternoon. In fact, we'll zoom in. You can see the Harrison area here. If you're heading along uh, 28, Route 28, could be a little bit of a rough go for you. There does seem to be a lot of rain that's heading up along Route 28 right now. You might want to give yourself a little bit of time before you're heading out that way. The fallow filled area also this is going to be right around the North Strabane area. It's also looking at some uh, rain at this time. These are just some spotty showers. Here's I 70 just for a reference point that you can see what's going on there. Wanted to zoom out, show you the big picture area of low pressure will continue to slide off to the northeast and this will put us in that area of that zone where we will have that chance for severe weather. Notice the breaks in the clouds. We will get a couple little bit of sunshine working its way in and then we'll start to see it doesn't look like much now, but we'll start to see some storms developing right as those breaks come in and that's where our severe weather is going to come from. So here's a look at what we can expect to see. Destructive wind is going to be the main uh, main threat and we're mainly looking at this afternoon. Here's the chance for wind flooding, even though it's not officially a severe weather event. Flooding is going to be something we'll be watching for. We've all we've knocked down our hail risk uh, way down, at least at this point in our tornado risk. It's there, but it is very small as we're heading into the afternoon hours. Model data is going to show that pretty much Allegheny County, Westmoreland County to the south is actually the best chance for our strong storms, but don't forget everywhere across western Pennsylvania does have that slight risk. We'll continue to see some waves of rain and storms possible even late tonight. This is at about 11 o'clock. Still some storms around Westmoreland County in Indiana County. As we're heading into tomorrow, it's going to be interesting. Now the cold front will be through, but as cooler air is set to arrive, we'll be looking at sprinkles, some drizzle, overcast conditions as well. Temperatures actually pretty cool actually also on your Wednesday. We'll watch closely there. So Wednesday does have a chance for some rain. And then you'll notice Thursday, Friday and Saturday we will keep it all dry. High temperature today of about 84 degrees. We'll watch that closely as that warm air sneaks in on the backside of the warm front. Look at the cool down Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. High temperatures just in the 70s. We'll be back in the 80s though for the weekend.